Homelessness has always been an increasing issue in all countries around the world. It is more apparent in densely populated areas such as London, which has approximately 150,000 homeless individuals. Over the past few decades, the economy has thrust homelessness upon many people who have unwillingly experienced new hardships at the hand of the economic climate. This has created an epidemic around the globe which has formed many repercussions and afflictions on the public surrounding the situation. In this documentary, we will be investigating homelessness in the United Kingdom. Later on in this documentary, we'll be sleeping on the street so that we can gain some experience in being homeless. We started our investigation with one of the biggest aids for the homeless community, The Big Issue. The Big Issue was started in September of 91 by John Bird and Gordon Roddick. They now support over 2,500 vendors in the UK and have over 100 new homeless people joining every week. It was set up as a response to the increasing numbers of homeless people in London. The Big Issue offers the opportunity for people who are homeless to take some control of their lives and rejoin mainstream society. In preparation for our trip to London, we went out and interviewed the public so that we could fully grasp their views on the homeless society. At what point did you first perceive that homelessness is a problem? When I went to Worcester and saw several homeless guys asking me for change on the floor. Um, I guess probably around the same age as yourself. Um, yeah, once you get to the point where you want to leave home yourself and you realise there are people out there that haven't got anywhere to go, mm. it really hits home that, you know, it's really bad out there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. When I was about 15 and I lived in Birmingham, I used to see people on the streets. Um, approximately about 50 years ago, because homelessness has been a problem for decades. It isn't something that's just materialised, it's gone on over a long time. From today, I have established that although the public sympathises with homeless, they don't fully understand the difficulties and afflictions that they have to withstand. After many weeks of emails, we arranged to have an interview with CEO of Big Issue, Stephen Robertson, so that we could fully understand what the Big Issue do for homeless people. Our vendors will sign a code of conduct about how they're going to behave with the public and how they're going to represent themselves, and we'll do all we can to support them in that process, but it's kind of down to them. I asked what the most common reason for people to be homeless is. There's normally um, a sequence of things that can happen in people's lives. Um, sometimes there's a very significant event that, um, that you could say was a trigger point, but um, you know, it could be the death of a loved one, it could be redundancy, it could be all sorts of things. But um, it's, it's not uncommon, for it's normally more than one thing that's led to somebody becoming homeless and it can be experiences of things, so experiences of um, institutional care, uh, instances when people have been in the services where you're kind of looked after, you know, there will be a number of factors in someone's history that will impact and implode around perhaps a significant life event or just a sort of slow downward spiral of things. After obtaining this insight on the homeless we decided to experience first hand what it would be like to sleep on the streets of Worcester. We literally just got to Worcester now and sat down for about 10 seconds and then these two drunk guys came up to us with rucksacks and started talking about how they were from Moscow. And one of them had been to Moscow. But does he have a hat like this? <laughs> <laughs> no. And then, uh, and then he went, I need a piss and, and walked down an alley at which point we got up and left. Yeah. So uh, it's not, not the best start really, if I'm honest. No. It was weirdly quiet. I think that was, I think that was the thing for me it was like, because I've been to Worcester quite a lot. It was weird to see it all like shut up and everything and shut down and no one was there apart from a few drunk people and then the light was on in Poundland all night which was quite frustrating and that's about it really, that's all I can yeah. really think of. I don't know if you can tell but it's actually starting to snow really quite lightly but it's, it's getting heavier like really quickly so we're going to try and find a spot now. It's like... It's about 5 to 11 now, and uh, we tried a couple of times then, and we got pretty close to being asleep. We kept getting woken up by cars driving past and stuff like that, and we just uh, we just saw the police. They drove fast and gave us a bit of a strange look, so I reckon they might be back later on. But we're going to try again now, and hopefully we get a bit more sleep. 
It's about five to twelve, and I've been awake. Um, I've been joined by Master Lang. Thoughts so far? Mm, I'm fucking tired now. We were in a, when we were in London. Stephen Robertson said that the horizon for a for a homeless person is about an hour. I didn't believe him, but I was thinking well, I was going to spend the next ten minutes because it was so bored. There was nothing to do. Absolutely nothing. So cold. So boring. It's just past. I just literally gone past one in the morning, and uh, we just. I was just dropping off again. Max is like, like stiff, but not actually making any sound at all. But I'm being kept awake by some guys unloading crates from a lorry about 20 feet to our left. And it's just unbearably loud, so there's nothing I can do. And he's been there for about 20 minutes now. It's really annoying. It's, uh, it's 2 o'clock now, and um, it's minus 2 degrees. But the wind's dropped down now. But Max is really cold because his sleeping bag's like way for thin. So uh, he's trying to get some sleep, but I don't think he's having much success. It's uh, it's pretty unbearable now. I'm I'm really tired, but I can't really get to sleep at all. I'm gonna try again. Change your view of the homeless. Yeah, definitely. Now that you've been in there. That's a sarcastic smile. No, 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 no it's uh, completely one hundred percent genuine. Seriously, it was just... No, you do other it's very hard it is, and then you just, you're out there and you You think you'll go out, wrap up, I wasn't talking, drift off? I'm just like coming to terms with how early this actually is. The guy over there is opening Cafe Nero already. And it's just like... I'm with still thinking about going to sleep. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> so we were out for like eight hours last night, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it was the most... Awful, horrendous time of my entire life. It was just that cold. My feet really hurt. Uh, like a few guys came up to start talking to us. Then uh, when we got told to move on, that's kind of sucked. My friend ran out of battery. Cars kept driving past. It was just awful. It was so awful. <sighs> Never again. I'm so tired. Sleep it off. Sleep it all off if we get back. Would you do it again? No. <laughs> no. Not at all. If you told, if you asked me to do it again tonight, I'd probably just be sick with the really? thought of it. It's so awful. Yeah, <laughs> no. I wouldn't even like. I wouldn't even like joke with the idea of doing it again. Just to do it every night would just be horrendous. It'd be unimaginable. It'd be bad. It'd be unimaginable. Yeah. Bad. I would just probably kill myself. Yeah. Because the big issue has always been a, a means to an end um, that's there as an opportunity for people to help themselves at a time of crisis, I think there will always be a need, if not for the big issue, but for organisations that can provide a self-help hand up, not a handout at a time of sort of utter loss. The big issue is unique in that it is the single biggest entity in the world that operates on that sort of basis. We have only touched on part of the homeless world and there is so much more that we have not shown during this short documentary. Homelessness is quite evidently an issue that will always plague the country. To find out more about homelessness visit www.bigissue.org.uk and www.shelter.org.uk